keeps on rolling through. Do, do, do. Faint in the background. Welcome to Dick City Home Sports Park, and thank you for joining us for tonight's match. Featuring the visiting St. Louis City FC. Welcome to the LA Galaxy pregame. The 2024 LA Galaxy is presented by Herbalife. Live your best life. And by Wingstop, the flavor of the LA Galaxy. Order now at Wingstop.com. From Dignity Health Sports Park, the LA Galaxy is on the air. Tonight, the Galaxy look to continue their unbeaten start of the season as LA plays host to St. Louis City SC. Hello again and welcome. Joe Tutino here. Glad to have you aboard for this one. An important match for both clubs as they mirror each other out of the gate and you just feel they just need a win to make sure they're on good footing. For the Galaxy, it would be their first home win on the season and first against St. Louis as the clubs played to a pair of draws in their first ever meetings. And for the Galaxy, a win against last season's Western Conference champions would mean added confidence after a solid start to 2024. Last weekend at Nashville, the Galaxy had to battle but secured a point on the road. It was a character match for the Galaxy, one that saw the team miss another penalty kick and leave chances on the pitch in the first half as the clubs went to the locker room at 0-0. In the second half, Nashville would get a spot kick until Bunbury would put the home side on top 1-0 in the 54th minute. Four minutes later, the Galaxy conceded another on a defensive miscue and Drew Yearwood would double the Nashville lead. But there was a feeling that the goals were going to come for the Galaxy, and the Galaxy kept marching forward. In the 67th minute, Ricky Pooge turned the Galaxy's fortunes around. Galaxy try to get numbers forward. This might be promising. Pooge, right foot of ball, the goal scored! Ricky Pooge pulls the Galaxy right back into this game from 24 yards out on his right foot, left side of the arc to the far side. Two now in favor of Nashville with about 30 minutes to go. And in the 82nd minute, sure, why not? Another for Dejan Jovalic. His third goal in three matches to start the season. Kasuis. He's thinking about the shot. The veteran defender. It'll come to the right side. Delgado towards goal. Saved by Ponico. Great save by the keeper getting down low. Back in front. Score! Dejan Jovalic has tied it up for the Galaxy. Tied at two, the Galaxy still had opportunities to take all the points. But at full time, a point away, 2-2. Galaxy and Nashville SC. Well, St. Louis comes into this match like the Galaxy on five points through three games. Their last time out saw them score a stoppage time goal and settle for a 2-2 draw on the road at Austin FC. It's the Galaxy home to St. Louis City SC. When we return, we'll hear from Galaxy manager Greg Vanny as the countdown to first kick continues right after these words. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the LA Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown LA, St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. 
Imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. In the course of a single game, LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year. Powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. To power up like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Galaxy fans, you know the name Galaxy was selected as a nod to the stars of Hollywood? And at Volkswagen, we have a lot of stars too. Like the Atlas, with a premium feel on the inside and out, plus seating for seven, it has almost enough room for the whole lineup. Volkswagen is a proud sponsor of the LA Galaxy. Visit your Southern California Volkswagen dealer today. Wingstop is the official flavor of the LA Galaxy. Satisfy your cravings with any of Wingstop's 12 mouth-watering flavors like zesty lemon pepper, savory garlic parmesan, or OG hot. Go to Wingstop.com or download the Wingstop app now and pre-order your wings for a game day delivery. Don't forget to try the Wingstop chicken sandwich while you're at it. Wingstop, bring the flavor. See Wingstop.com slash offers for full details. Kickoff is 7.40 tonight. The LA Galaxy at home take it on St. Louis City SC. And the Galaxy and St. Louis both tied at five points apiece in the Western Conference. We'll see how that goes the rest of the evening. Hey, time now for the injury report. It's brought to you by Dignity Health, official health care partner of the LA Galaxy. When you're in good health, we all win. Galaxy are healthy almost. 99.9% healthy Jalen Neal working his way back to fitness but everybody else 100% including Gabriel Peck who's back with the Galaxy after getting married last week he's excused from last week's 2-2 draw with Nashville time to talk to the manager Greg Vanny and this team right now is coming into a very important match for this Galaxy team. You get the feeling that they need to get this game at home, get their first home win to really push 2023 behind them. Having said that, they feel like they should have all the points on the season. They come in with five, they should have nine. Yeah, I mean, I think in the end, I think we were there to get nine points, and especially in the, uh, the first one at home, we're up until late, unfortunate. Uh, red card situation uh, and then we give up a goal late uh, then going to to Nashville I thought we started off the game well again to get ourselves a penalty a couple chances to get out in front of the game and, and we didn't but the guys fought back and we took a point we even had chances to win it down the stretch even coming back too so uh, I think we've been in it for nine points uh, unfortunately we haven't been able to take the full nine but we're unbeaten and and we're back home and so we're, we're happy to be back and uh, looking forward to this one the Nashville game it seemed like it was one that was fully under control then the penalty and then a defensive miscue and suddenly you're chasing yeah, I mean, that's where it was coming out of it. I think in the first half, we were trying to really kind of work our way and figure out how to get through the back five. And, you know, we created a couple opportunities, the PK being one. Um, but we did some adjustments at halftime. I thought we came out in the second half and we put one off the bar. We had a couple good chances in the first five, six minutes. Uh, and then, like you said, against the run of it, we, we end up with a penalty and we're down one. And, and then, um, you know, bad choice on the clearance. Uh, and then we're down two pretty quickly. Um, but we didn't really skip a beat. We, we made a couple of adjustments, brought on another forward, and got into the shape that um, that we talked about at halftime. And we were able to create our chances and get ourselves back into it and, and manage the game on the defensive side while we were still chasing on the attacking side. And we got the goals back. So, again, a good fight back on the road. It's never it's never easy. And it's uh, first time this year we had to break down a back five. So I think we, we learned some things as a group on, on how we would like to go about that when we when we encounter it again. Seemed like there was a spacing problem going forward. Guys are asking for certain guys to give some depth along the way so they can get the ball in. Yeah, I just, I just always think against when you're playing a back five, you've got to be willing to commit, commit one more extra number higher up the field. And uh, we we were dropping down and trying to find ways to get on the ball. And when we were looking forward, we were numerically deficient on the attack in the first half. Uh, the second half, we were able to get either in the first five, six minutes, we brought Mark inside almost like a second forward at times and brought... Um, Joseph inside and like the in the gap he was having a really hard time find getting free in the first half staying wide 
And then we allowed Mickey to come around a little bit more. And so we were able to get that extra number into the attack. And then I felt like we were really able to move their back five and get them to come off the line and create spaces we could penetrate or play in off of our strikers. So the guys that are supposed to perform for you are obviously Dan Jovalich with three goals in three games and Ricky has caught fire. But Mark Delgado, we're, I think we're finally seeing the Mark Delgado that can play the position that he's supposed to play as opposed to play a position and a half. Yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, the way we've set up, we've we've given him a, a higher setting, I guess you would say, on the field. He's kind of high and in between the lines, and he gives us his running, which is one of his greatest strengths, is uh, his willingness to just systematically create space and run through the lines and be in the right places at the right time. And, uh, you know, at times in the past, he's had to do a little bit of extra defensive work, cover, cover this, cover that, and now with the group and the way it's set up, he he can give us a little bit more of that activity and the running that we need ahead of the ball. And so that helps to free up day on. It helps to give Joseph some, some better options and it helps to free him up. So, uh, you know, the one thing that Mark will always do is he's going to be compliant inside of our system. He's going to balance the team and he's going to give the team whatever it needs. And, and so he's done great. And in the attacks, he's never really trying to complicate things. He keeps the game simple and he gives everybody else that little extra time that they need to to execute on on certain plays and he's got a couple assists himself and then the shot that led to uh, the second goal so he certainly has had his impact on the attacking side now to st louis uh i call them the best pressing team in major league soccer at least i thought they were that last year we're early on in 2024 i expect to see the same from them tonight yeah they're just really organized defensively and you know at times it'll be a a, a high press uh, and at times they'll go into a very active mid block which is also hard to break down uh one of the things that they do really well is they release their fullbacks in support of the front six uh so for us, when they release their fullbacks, if we can get guys in the midfield facing forward and and able to look at their back line while they're in this rotation trying to get across and we keep the appropriate numbers high, we should, we should be able to penetrate through some of the gaps that they're creating in their rotations. They're very good at it, very well drilled uh, on that side of things, but there is opportunity that exists inside of that. The other thing they're really good at is just the counter press. They will play direct, they'll play forward, and then they'll press off of those balls, whether they complete the pass or not, they're gonna press right off of it. So if we can play forward and break the press, um, not play back and put ourselves back under the press, but if we can break lines and break the press, there'll be space and opportunity on the other side of their counter press as well. So in, in some of these transition moments. But we've got to be really smart when we have the ball. We can't we can't play into their hands, and and we've got to make sure that that when we transition from def, from defend or from attacking to defending, that we close uh, we close the gaps, we close the middle of the field because they are they're very good at attacking fast out of the out of their defensive active defensive posture. And one other thing regarding you this year compared to last year, you have the speed on the wing that you didn't have last year, and I think they have to respect that a little bit more. Yeah, that, that therein lies a bit of the opportunity for us in a game like tonight is you know. We have much more potential to to penetrate, to go behind. Uh, when we do create time edges or we do look for the space behind, it's hard to catch our guys that, that get on the break. Joseph specifically, Dan's done a nice job with some of that. Uh, so we, we do have, a, we're more of a handful in some of these situations when teams want to press us that we do have the capacity to break out. We've done that, you know, in these first few games. And so... Again, therein lies, again, the opportunity both in transition, but also if we can uh, if we can get off the sides and get guys facing forward and have guys running in the depth, I think there's, there's space for us behind them. Maybe that threat means that they're not quite as high pressing and as, and as aggressive as, uh, as they have done in the past, but no matter how you shake it, they're very organized. The defensive side is really their game, and so we've, it's going to be a challenge for us to break them down, and we've got to remain patient, but but active about like really trying to finish attacks. We can't just get caught in possession. You can't get caught in possession. That's Galaxy manager Greg Vanny, and thank him for joining us here tonight. And one of the things about this club and what we should expect tonight is organized chaos. We've seen Red Bulls do it. They brought the, the press and the, and the counter press into this league or are close to perfecting it. St. Louis, I think, did it better than New York Red Bull last year. But that's what we're going to see this evening. Zhao Klaus will start for St. Louis, and he was the guy pressing high against the Galaxy last season. Some scores around Major League Soccer, and the scoreboard is presented by Volkswagen. See your Volkswagen dealer today. Finals that are in from earlier today, 4-3 Chicago winning 
over Montreal. Meanwhile, it was Miami 3-1 over D.C. United. Late goals there for Juarez leading the way for uh, Suarez, excuse me, for Miami. Seattle and Colorado played to a 1-1 draw. It was Columbus 3, Red Bull 0. Meanwhile, New York City defeated Toronto 2-1, to the final there. Now to the games in progress. 88th minute, Austin and Philadelphia tied at 2. Vancouver leading Dallas 3-1. to Houston won nothing better than Toronto. That is in the 91st minute there. 86th minute, Sporting Kansas City over San Jose 2-1. to The Galaxy will be in San Jose next week. 88th minute, it is Minnesota 2, LAFC 0. Meanwhile, in the 88th minute, Nashville leading Charlotte by a count up two to one. We'll take a short time out. We'll put the finishing bow on the pregame show right after these words. LA Galaxy fans, are you ready to take your game experience to the next level? Introducing the new Vivid Seats Elite Seat section in 130 Row D. Your tickets to all on-field Galaxy action, plus exclusive perks. Enjoy prime seats that come with parking and a $20 concession credit with every ticket. Don't miss out. Score your Vivid Seats Elite Seats today exclusively on VividSeats.com and earn rewards on every purchase from the only ticket company that rewards you for buying. Vivid Seats, the official partner of the LA Galaxy. Hey, Galaxy fans. Yamava Theater brings you top-level entertainers all year long. Get your tickets to see legendary opera singer Andrea Bocelli, March 11th. Iconic lead singer of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, May 21st. And country heartthrob Keith Urban, July 13th. Only at Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel, California's number one entertainment destination. Must be 21 to enter. Get tickets at yamavatheater.com. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage in their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois of a single game. LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year, powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. To power up like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Omega Accounting Solutions is a proud partner of the LA Galaxy. Omega empowers your business with expert guidance on government tax incentives. If your small business survived the pandemic, you could be eligible for a tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The Employee Retention Credit rewards businesses for paying staff during the pandemic. Omega ensures your business receives the maximum credit it deserves. Omega has over 15 years of experience and is a leading expert in the ERC and R&D tax credits. Discover if you qualify in a free 10-minute ERC consultation. Visit OmegaTaxCredits.com for details. Hey, Galaxy fans, when you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. This is the third ever meeting between these clubs. The Galaxy, two ties, no wins, no losses. Same thing for St. Louis. Both clubs come in 1-0 and 2 on the season with five points. Galaxy technically third, St. Louis fourth in the Western Conference. Last game out for each team, a 2-2 draw on the road. The Galaxy at Nashville and St. Louis at Austin. Goal differential, the Galaxy have scored four, give it, scored six, giving up four for a plus two. St. Louis has scored five, giving up three for a plus 
two. These teams are twins. We will find out in 90 minutes if they remain that. Galaxy home against St. Louis. The first kick is coming up next. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the LA Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown LA, St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown and Courts in Chicago, Illinois. In the course of a single game, LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles, while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year, powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. Power up like a pro. Contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Hey, Galaxy fans, when you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. Win big with a free BRC burrito from El Pollo Loco and the LA Galaxy. At home games this season, when the Galaxy score before halftime, Loco Rewards members get a free BRC burrito with the purchase of a large drink. Download the Loco Rewards app and cheer on the Galaxy for your chance at a free BRC. Plus, enjoy Loco Rewards benefits like exclusive offers, points with every purchase, and even faster curbside pickup. El Pollo Loco, official partner of the LA Galaxy. game time. This LA Galaxy match is presented by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Welcome back to Dignity Health Sports Park. We are moments away from getting this one underway. The starting 11 is brought to you by Modelo. Setting the gold standard for authentic Mexican beer since 1925, Modelo brewed for those with a fighting spirit for the Galaxy, John McCarthy in goal, a 1.33 goals against average. He has faced 12 shots, eight saves. He's allowed four goals. His defense, Mickey Yamane on the right side, Julian Aude on the left side. The center backs are the captain, Maya Yoshida, with Martin Caceres at midfield for the Galaxy. Diego Fagundes on the left side. Mark Delgado and Ricky Pooge in the middle. 
And on the left, it will be Joseph Painsill. Up top, Dejan Jovalich, the holding midfielder, will be Edwin Cerillo. For St. Louis, Roman Berkey in goal. His defenders are Joachim Nielsen, Anthony Markanich, Tomas Totland, and Josh Yarrow. At midfield, Tomas Ostrak, Chris Durkin, Celio Pompeo, Azil Jackson, and up top, Jao Klaus and Indiana Vasilev. St. Louis, and they're all red with the white stripes of the Galaxy, and they're all white with the gold trim. We are underway as St. Louis with the ball on the kickoff as it comes back left to the goalkeeper, Roman Berkey, the reigning goalkeeper of the year. We thank you for joining us on Apple TV as well as LAGalaxy.com and Sirius XM FC Channel 157 tonight. Happy St. Patrick's Day for all who celebrate, and I think that would be everybody in the United States, is Irish tonight. As the ball will come left side, and here comes St. Louis into the Galaxy defense. Painsill will have it far side and cleared out of play for a throw in LA Galaxy. Our referee for tonight's game is Atahan Yaya. His assistants, Ryan Jung on the near side, Casey Cole on the far side. The fourth official, Viviana Diaz Rodriguez. And the VAR tonight is Mark Geiger. Here comes St. Louis back into the Galaxy defense, top of the area. Jackson with a left footed ball to goal, save by McCarthy, down low to his left. Good save. And we invite you on the socials as we do. Where are you watching and listening from? And what is your St. Patrick's Day tradition? Pooj on the right side. It'll go to Painsill under some pressure. And down he goes. And a foul and a free kick for the Galaxy. It'll come on back to Yoshida. Wheeled around the near side by McCarthy now. Alde. Gets away from one defender in Vasilev. It'll come back defensively. Kasaris under heavy pressure to go back to Yoshida. On the right side, Yamane. Watch there by Pompeo. Ahead it comes to Painsill. And he'll track it back into his own defense. And that's what the Galaxy have to do. They need to be clean out of the back. If they flatten out, they'll be closed down. Good ball here by Pooj on the left side. Ahead it goes to Alde. Needs to touch it in the space he does. Fagundes is there. Back into Alde. He'll take it into the penalty area. Good opportunity here. Jovalet scores! Dan Jovalet, number four in four games. And it is 1-0 Galaxy inside three minutes of play. In fact, Two minutes and 16 seconds. And that's how you break the press. St. Louis was pressing high in the first moments of the game, and the Galaxy got their first opportunity, and they took advantage of it. Dejan Jovalich is getting his fourth goal in four games to start this season. Thank you. So come on back to Roman Berkey. He'll lift it in the midfield. Back to Berkey once again. On the near side it'll go. Tutland defensively. Nielsen. No Tim Parker tonight for St. Louis. On to the near side one more time. Yarrow. Head to Klaus. Yoshida gets in front of that. Cleared by Surio. And it'll all come back defensively again for Berkey once more. Galaxy on the front foot here on the scoreboard. Leading 1-0 early on. If you missed it, I'm sorry. On the near side it'll go. 
Here comes St. Louis once again. Pompeu along the end line, near side. Watched by two defenders, cleared away by Fagundes, and out of play. Possession here to the Galaxy. John McCarthy to take the free kick. He's got one save on the game already. An easy one. Got him into the game. And he'll take his time now and send this long. McCarthy into midfield, a little bit too much on that for Alde. Quickly bounced back into the Galaxy defense. Klaus has it on the near side. Vasilev running into the area, squared across to Jackson. It's behind him, but Pompeo is there, trying to find a shot. Nice job defensively by Delgado. It'll come out the right side. Painso with the clearance and cleared out of play off of his foot by Ostrock. And a throw in here for the LA Galaxy. Yoshida. Squared out over to Caceres. Defensively, McCarthy. 1-0 Galaxy. Jobalic, the goal. From Fagundes and Aude. I believe that should be a double assist there, but we'll leave that to the official scores. Pooch and Ricky started all that with a good ball out of the back. Here's Pooch again. Two defenders around him ahead to Surreal. Defensively, Yoshida under some pressure from Pompeo. Out the right side, it comes this time from Painso. And the Galaxy able to get forward one more time. Pooch at center, tried to let this one go through, and it's broken up. It'll come out to Surreal. The Galaxy have it again. Left side it goes. Alde. Back to the strike. Caceres. Pooch. Taking off the ball. Referee says play on. We go back the other way. Durkin able to play this ahead to Jackson. Azil Jackson working on Surreal. Top of the box it goes Vasilev. Left side of the yard. Kasser is staying with him. Vasilev still on possession to the right side. Pushed on forward. Totland along the end line has it now. Again Jackson into the area. Knocked in towards center. Right into Kasser and cleared. Out the left side, Cerillo. Yarrow for St. Louis. Work it down the middle of the park. And back it goes to John McCarthy. Good start here for the Galaxy. Bradley Carnell, head coach of St. Louis. Of course, Greg Vanny, the manager of the LA Galaxy. Yoshida. Squared over. Caceres. Surreal one more time. Comes into Pooch. Out to the right side, Painsill. Ahead to Mark Delgado. Good ball back for Painsill. He'll take it up the right side. Get cross into the middle. Guy nice saved by Perky on the one time shot by Fagundes. Good build up by the Galaxy. And a nice shot on the part of Fagundes. And Perky did well to get down low. That had a chance to get underneath the goalkeeper and into the back of the net, but it was right on him, and he makes the save. Still 1-0 in favor of the Galaxy inside. Ten minutes of play. Good time to tell you the Galaxy fans, season tickets are still available for you. 
Visit LAGalaxy.com forward slash season tickets or call 8773-GALAXY for more information on membership benefits and to secure yours today. For whatever reason, I understand you're not being picked up on the Apple side of things. So hopefully that'll be worked out technically. My apologies there. Out day. Back it comes. Caceres. Yoshida. Yamane. Ahead it comes to Payne Sill. He'll heal it forward. It'll find the touchline and out of play. Yarrow here for St. Louis. It'll go out the left side. Markanich and back to his goalkeeper, Berkey, who's made one very good save as the Galaxy almost doubled their lead. Klaus on the left side. Pompeu working on Yamani. Cuts in towards center. Attempted shot blocked. It'll come out the right side. Totland getting forward. Nice job by Fagundes defending on the play. It'll come out the near side, though, and Totland comes out with possession, wants the foul, won't get it. Vasilev will keep it alive, squares it in towards center. The shot towards goal, deflected, and then pulled out of the air by John McCarthy. Pooch out the near side. Alde in towards center. Pooch one more time. Side of the center circle, squared across. It comes over to Yamani. Ahead to Painesill, and back it goes. Delgado up the wing. Painesill keeps possession here, held up, wants the foul. Far side AR didn't see it, and the referee says we continue. Game a bit stretched here. St. Louis trying to find it. Durkin into center. Ahead it comes to Yoshida, and the Galaxy have it one more time. Alde on the near side. Fagundes. Caceres. Delgado one more time. Painsil has it on the right side. Watch there by one defender. Again, Mark Delgado. Defensively, Yamani. All the way back to the stripe, Yoshida. Squares it across. Caceres one more time past the stripe. Ahead it goes this time to Pooch. Watched by Cerillo. Tries to find Delgado. It's getting rather physical, but the Galaxy able to get forward. Painsill, right corner of the air, squares it in. Tries to find Pooch, right foot of ball. Off the crossbar. The header by Jovanovic. Off the crossbar. Second chance. Tries to heal it towards goal and cleared out towards the near side for throwing Galaxy twice off the bar. And it's still 1-0 in favor of the Galaxy here. Throwing again for St. Louis on the near side. Klaus trying to clear towards midfield. A foul called against the Galaxy. Totlin for St. Louis. Back to Yarrow. Galaxy right now. Good start for them. They are letting St. Louis kind of dictate things with their aggressive play and then looking to break out quickly. Right now, St. Louis will build up. 
Pompeo on the near side. Klaus once again outside the right corner of the area. Plays it on into Vasilev. Kossaris is going to shield it. And a good job by John McCarthy jumping off his line to collect. Out the right side it'll go. Payne Sill, Yamane, ahead to Delgado and out of play. Here's Ostrak. Back to Yarrow. And St. Louis able to push into midfield. Yamani picked it off, but he gave it right back. And here's a problem. Here's Pompeo into the Galaxy penalty area. Tries to cut it back top of the box. The shot towards goal hit poorly. And out of play over the end line. Goal kick here for the Galaxy. Chris Durkin pushing forward with the outside of his right foot and missed it by at least the width of the goal. Ball near side, all day. Into Pooch, dropped by Durkin. That's a foul free kick for the Galaxy. Good crowd on hand here at Dignity Health Sports Park. Yamane. It'll come on back to Yoshida. Kasaris on the near side, all day. Lifts it ahead, trying to find. Dion Jovalich, but he just took the wrong angle on it that time, and it spinned around him. But it'll be a throw-in for the Galaxy. Fagundes back to Aude. Turns away from one defender, back to Pooch. In some trouble here. He pushes it into space. Jackson and he collide. The ball will come loose. And Jovalich knocks it all the way back to his goalkeeper, McCarthy. Yoshida. Here's Zeke Kossaris. Again, Pooch pressure at midfield. So remember what Greg Vanny told us in the interview in the pregame show. Sometimes it'll be a mid block press from St. Louis, and we're seeing that here at the moment. Alde with the throw in for LA. Thank you for those who are listening on the LA Galaxy stream. As well as Sirius XM FC 157. Offside called against the Galaxy. Working on the technical issues on the Apple side at the moment to get us up and running on the local broadcast for you. Tutland. For St. Louis. It'll come on back to Vasilev. He'll push past the center circle. Tries to play it on the left side for Markanich. But a good job on the part of Payne still speeding on back and getting it back for the Galaxy. He will win a throw in for the Galaxy, but Payne still took a knock here after the play. And it's going to be a free kick for the Galaxy, I believe. After the ball went out. Nope. The referee just stopped and went on over to take a look at Joe. Joe Payne still a goal and an assist so far this season for L.A. Kind of held up a bit against Nashville as they double teamed him and they kept the left back at home. In fact, they had five backs in that game. And so it made it a little bit more difficult for the Galaxy to get things forward until they were able to create a little depth in their attack and open things up. Let's pull up the left side and out of play by Alde. Inside 19 minutes of play, it is 1-0 in favor of the Galaxy. On the goal by Dejan Jovalich. Inside three minutes. Jovalich four goals in four games for L.A. out of the start. Ball on the near side for Klaus. Tries to get through Yoshida. But Azil Jackson runs onto the loose ball. Cerillo there. And he's chopped down by Jackson. And that's a foul and a free kick for the Galaxy.
One nothing Galaxy here. Caceres as it comes on back to McCarthy. He'll lift it over to the far side, tries to find Delgado. St. Louis wins 40 yards away from goal. Here's Klaus. He'll fire away from 25. That's blocked and out the near side it comes. Throw it. Tottman with the throw in for St. Louis. It'll come on back. Durkin plays into the corner. Tottman runs onto it. It's a big rainbow of across the backside of the six. Knocked away by Yamane. Not far enough. Played back through, and Yoshida is able to clear it away. In the midfield, it'll go. Nielsen, left side. Markanic. This is held up. Yamane is. Should have been a foul the other way. He was held up, but the referee looked right at him. Never called the foul. He gave the throw in the other way. Here's Jackson with the shot towards goal, and it'll find its way south of this corner kick flag. Throw in for the LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy facing off against the Seattle Sounders FC on Saturday, March the 30th at 7.30 right here at Dignity Health Sports Park. The first 5,000 fans in the stadium receive a special LA Galaxy Cup. Tickets available at LAGalaxy.com. Pooch. Trying to clear towards midfield, looking for Delgado to come out the near side. Throw in here as Jovalich is lifted off the ball. Here's Klaus. Jackson this time around. On the left it goes. The cross in towards center. Cerillo is there to clear. It'll go out the far stride. And a free kick. Yoshida will take it. McCarthy. All day. Caceres. And again, Yoshida back to the goalkeeper. McCarthy under pressure here from Klaus. He'll lift it long into midfield. St. Louis able to turn it back into the Galaxy defense. Durkin gets away from Pooch. On the near side it comes. Totland. Watch there by Fagundes. Ahead to Vasilev, wants the foul, and he'll get it. I call the same on both sides, Mr. Yaya, at least right now. Yamane was held up last play just across the other way, and he gave a throw in the other way. Very similar call here, and he calls the foul. Greg Vanny's talking to the fourth official about it. Vasilev is there. Jackson as well. Likely Vasilev, likely Jackson to take it. A ball that's going to go across towards the penalty spot. Referee gives the go ahead. Here's Jackson. Lifts it into the area. Knocked out by Surreal. Comes over to Pooch. Back it goes to Surreal. His ball into midfield. But St. Louis on possession once again. Fagundes brought down. That's an easy yellow card. Absolutely. Totland will pick up the yellow. And possession to the LA Galaxy. Do it again. 
Pooch will take the restart. One nothing in favor of the Galaxy. We thank you for joining us here tonight. Wherever you're picking us up, we understand the LA Galaxy stream is up and running. And thank you for listening to us there this evening. If you happen to be there, Surreal. Could not find Delgado that time around. Closed off by Pompeo. And here comes St. Louis once again. Klaus to Vasilev on the right side. Tries to cut it on back. Totland side of the Galaxy penalty area. Lifts into the six. And Yamane just ushers it out of the way. Over the far side touch for a throw in. Soccer fans, secure your 2024 season ticket memberships now. Season ticket members receive a 20% discount at the team store, 15% off concessions, exclusive member events, and much more. Call 877-3-GALAXY or visit lagalaxy.com forward slash season tickets today. Goal kick here for the Galaxy. St. Louis moved the ball into the area and a good opportunity for Vasilev. It goes over the bar and out. Here's Pooch, just outside the box, over to Maya Yoshida. Again, McCarthy. And the Galaxy giving patient here. Pooch ahead to Cerillo, back to Pooch. A little cheeky, dispossessed, chance at goal, and St. Louis has tied it up. Tomas Ostrak and Ricky Pooch try to heel pass as he was pressed. Ostrak took the ball off his foot, and he had McCarthy going the wrong way, and we're now tied at a goal apiece. And that's how you give leads away with silly mistakes like that. One one now in the 27th minute. Just a bit surprising with the nonchalant tries to pass out to the back and allowing for that to happen right in the middle of the, your own defense. So work to be done here. Berkey saved one goal, the post or the crossbar saved two opportunities on one sequence as well. And now we have a lot of work to do. Yoshida. On the near side, it comes to Kosaris. Maya Yoshida able to live this one long, trying to find Mark Delgado. Second ball comes on back. Ostrak, the goal scorer, knocks it back to his goalkeeper, Berkey. He's able to lift it long into the Galaxy defense. Cleared out by Maya Yoshida. Near side, Durkin. All the way back, Totlin. Able to lift it forward. Klaus chests it down. Durkin on the near side. Plays it in for Jackson. Kasser is defending the cross in towards center. Knocked out by Yamani, but kept alive once again. Vasilev, left foot of ball into the area. Looking for Klaus, the header over the crossbar and out of play. And now the opportunity is coming for St. Louis. A lot of space there in the Galaxy penalty area that time around. And this pressure that's been put on by St. Louis now starting to pay for the visitors. Kasaris. Yoshida. Out the right side it goes Painsill. Again Kasaris. Near side out day right in front of the Galaxy bench. He's brought down. That's a foul. Free kick here for the Galaxy. Jackson. Back it goes to Ostrak. Now ahead to Vasilev. Klaus on the right side. It comes quickly. Totlin the attempt to cross. Blocked by Fagundes and out of play. Corner kick. Again, a good buildup by St. Louis. And the Galaxy right now on the back foot. In 
inside 30 minutes we are 1 1 here Galaxy in St. Louis Jackson with the corner kick Vasilev showing short now he peels away got Klaus in the middle Yarrow there as well here's the corner towards the spot should have been a foul in the box with the Galaxy player being pulled down the shot from distance is out of play and we have some really experienced officials here tonight. Goal kick for the Galaxy. McCarthy will knock it forward. Caceres is there. Yoshida. Yamane. It'll come out to Caceres again under pressure from Klaus. Ahead it comes to Pooch. He'll play into center looking for Jovalich. That could have been a foul as well, but it goes back the other way. Here's Pompeo working on Yamane once more on the far side of the Galaxy penalty area. Mickey able to push him wide. It'll come into Jackson inside the Galaxy box. Cerillo defending. Back it goes to Caceres. His clearance comes out to Painsill. And the Galaxy right now suffocating under a red wave. Ball out of play. Touch last by St. Louis. Throw in here for the Galaxy. Yamane. Maya Yoshida. Here's Caceres. Into Cerillo. Two defenders around him will come on loose to Pooch. Tries to find a little space. Able to knock it forward. Delgado. This is a good ball in for Payne Sill. He'll get into the area. Payne Sill side of the six. Fires! And he hit the post as well. Goal kick. He had Jovalich also coming towards him. As we look at the replay once again, Painsill had a good angle at goal, fired away, and he rang the post. Maybe if he goes cross goal, he might have the long side. He also might have Jovalich right in front, four yards away. Two defenders, though, were crashing towards that goal line at the same time. 1-1 still. Comes out to Totland. He'll clear into midfield. Jackson. All the way back defensively. Yarrow to the goalkeeper, Berkey. And in the midfield, Yamane for the Galaxy. Painsill. This is dispossessed and back the other way. Quickly to Klaus. Watch there by Yoshida. On the left side is Pompeo as St. Louis gets numbers forward. Pompeu, top of the box. Vasilev. Back out it goes. Again, Klaus into center. Durkin, 30 yards from goal. Plays it on in and on the deflection. It's saved by John McCarthy. So two saves for John McCarthy in this first half. They'll roll it out to buy Yoshida. Near side all day. Defensively, McCarthy in goal. Watch there by Jackson. Sprayed out the right side. Looking for Painsill. That's broken up. Second ball. Pooch wins this for the Galaxy at center. He'll take it left side of the circle and into the offensive end. Painsill making the run to the right side. Has it now. Trying to play it back across and does. Fagundes shot save. Pooch trying to find it. It goes out the right side. Back to Fagundes again. His shot is blocked again. And cleared out to midfield. This will be a foul against Caceres. He'll get a yellow card as he <laughs> chested the ball, but he used... Azil Jackson's body to do so. Free kick for St. Louis. Nielsen will take the free kick. 
comes out the Yarrow near side Tottenham. Ahead to Vassilov who wants the foul. No says the referee. Ball went out on the touch by Dirk. It'll be a throw in for L.A. This is going to be more and more chippy throughout this match. We're only getting started. Yoshida. Back it goes. Yamane again. Yoshida at center. Plays into the space. Surreal runs onto it. Pooch has it now. It's between the lines. Able to play it forward to Surreal. The Galaxy right now are flat and back. Need to be a little more direct and take advantage of the aggressive play from St. Louis. On the right side it goes to Delgado. Back to Surreal again. Defensively Yamane and again they restart. The lack of courage to go forward. Yamane. Delgado one more time on the right side. Plays it ahead to Fagundes. Nudged a bit by Yaro. Fagundes in the box. Still has possession. Good job there by Diego. On the right side of the goal. Delgado plays it on in. Looking for Dejan Jovalic. And just beyond the outstretched right foot. Cleared away by Roman Berkey and friends. In the midfield that goes Jackson for St. Louis. Push it into the Galaxy defense. It comes ahead to Klaus at the arc. Jackson again on the left side of the goal. Pompeo to run it down into the far corner and gets it there. Galaxy a little tired here getting back. Cross into the area. Cleared out by Surio. Durkin has it now. Right at center. And a foul called against Painsill. As he brings down Ostrak. As we enter the 38th minute, still 1 1 here between the Galaxy and St. Louis. Hey, download the LA Galaxy app today as your one stop shop for everything Galaxy. Easy ticket management, exclusive content, and the latest Galaxy news and scores. Visit lagalaxy.com slash app for more information. Referee gives the go ahead here on the free kick. Jackson steps into this one, goes near post and out of play. Goal kick for John McCarthy in the L.A. Galaxy. One thing right now is trending for this Galaxy team. They're not efficient enough offensively at the moment. You have three goals out there for L.A. They've been able to score one. Yoshida just outside his penalty area. Ahead it goes to Surreal. Able to play this one forward. Here's Delgado quickly on the right side. Nice ball here for Payne Sill. Galaxy need to move quickly. Payne Sill working into the area. Still with it. And this time he ran past it. And cleared off of his foot. Ball goes out of play over the far side. Touch. Trying to think of the last time the Galaxy had that fast of a winger. On the right side but also with that type of talent. They've had fast players, but not necessarily as talented on the right side. Yarrow for St. Louis, back to his goalkeeper, Berkey. I'll take your suggestions on the socials if you'd like. Pooch, back it goes to Delgado, he's brought down. That's a foul and a free kick. Good free kick opportunity here for the Galaxy. North of 30 yards from goal. Closer to 35 yards from goal here. 
but a good set play opportunity for L.A. This is going to be to the right of the arc. It'll keep the goalkeeper on his line. Fagundes will take the free kick. Yamane is just to the left of that wall, so they could slide the ball ahead on the right side of the penalty area, and Yamane could run on in. Painsel's right at the top of the arc, but now they flip out of that positioning for the Galaxy. Referee gives the go ahead. Fagundes plays it towards the backside, trying to find Yoshida. Klaus will knock it out, but apparently a foul in the area against the Galaxy, and it looks like a head injury for St. Louis. And here come the trainers to take a look quickly here. I believe it's Pompeu. And I think between he and Yoshida, he went to ground and went head first into the ground. And it's not necessarily a head injury, but it looks might it might be a elbow or shoulder injury at first look there. One one here approaching halftime. In the 42nd minute. Jovalich for the Galaxy inside three minutes of play he had another opportunity to find the back of the net. So did Diego Fagundes. Roman Berkey made the save on him from point blank. The crossbar made two saves off of Jovalich. And Joseph Painsill has hit the post. The Galaxy have been a bit unfortunate there. Pompeu is still being looked at here. And I think as we look at the replay, he just got trampled on, and as Yoshida was coming down, his leg, his foot, took his arm into the turf. So spikes, turf, blunt force of the body coming down on him. Took a pretty good shot, but he's on his feet. It looks like he's going to be able to continue shaking that arm a bit, so that's good news. And the player injured was not Pompeo, but Vasilev. Goal kick, Berkey will take it. Berkey lifts this one into midfield. Yoshida punches it forward. Near side Pooch, Cerillo, and off of him and out of play for a throw in St. Louis. Waiting for Totland to come back on. He'll be able to take the throw in here. Trying to find Klaus Claire to clear it out by our day. Another throw. This time the Galaxy will get the throw and back the other way. Approaching halftime. We should get plenty of stoppage. The two goals plus the injury. A couple of yellow cards. See at Nashville it was 0-0. We had five minutes at the break. Last time out. So come ahead to Jovalich. Foul called against Dayon. And the Galaxy bench erupts again. 
It'll come on back to Yarrow. Nielsen this time around. Played on long into the Galaxy. Defense near side out day. Thrown to the ground. That'll be a foul and a free kick. So five minutes of stoppage here. No surprise. Yoshida Yamane. A foul on Painso back the other way. Good free kick opportunity for St. Louis here. Vasilev will take the restart. Left footed ball, big rainbow towards the back side of the six. Knocked towards the penalty spot. It'll come on loose, and Yoel is able to clear it on the near side and out of play after the great bright start from the Galaxy and really. Some surgical play about L.A. They've had to succumb to defend a little bit against St. Louis, who's done a good job of pressuring the Galaxy for much of this first half. Totland now for St. Louis, and he heals it out. It'll be a throw-in for the Galaxy. Out the far side. This will be possession to the Galaxy. Free kick. Maya Yoshida comes on over to Pooch. Right side again, Yamane. Yoshida knocks it on over to Kasaris. About 90 seconds to go in the first half unofficially. Yamane again. Painsville. And back to Mickey. And the Galaxy need to be able to stretch and go forward here. And I think what's been difficult for LA, they've been trying to go through this too much. But Pooch finds Painsville this time. Top of the box still has it. On his left foot, knocks it towards goal. And right on to Berkey. He'll get a save for that. And here comes St. Louis back the other way. Quickly on the outlet up the left side. Markanich getting forward. Trying to find Jackson in the Galaxy penalty area. He tries to swing it back around for Vasilev. Kosteris to keep it alive and then get a goal kick out of it. Kosteris wanted the foul. Didn't get it. Knocked that ball away. And he'll get a verbal warning from our referee, Mr. Yaya. Need to be careful there. Don't need a, a silly yellow card for a delay. Here's Cerillo. Knocks it on over to Caceres. Near side out day. Lifted forward. Jovalic will run this one down. Yarrow is there. Back to his goalkeeper, Berkey. He'll play in the midfield. Good battle there with Klaus. Yamane with clearance and a foul called against the Galaxy on the earlier touch. This one against Cerillo. In towards center, knocked into the Galaxy defense, cleared out by Kosser. Cerillo over towards the near side. It's 
Be a foul and a free kick. Chance here to regroup for the Galaxy. One player who has been, well, not as active, or at least not having as much of an influence on the match as he has in the past has been Ricky Pooch. And our referee points to midfield, and that is the end of 45 minutes of play. And the teams will go in the locker room with some work to be done for the Galaxy or readjust a little bit and do a little better job dealing with this St. Louis press. The other thing you want to see from the Galaxy is to be a little bit more efficient in the offensive end. Hitting three posts in the first half, you got to find the back of the net. You know, Diego Fagundes, when you're on the doorstep right in front of the goalkeeper, you play to right into him. Those are things that the Galaxy need to work on here at the break. We have some technicals to work on from what I understand, but it's, those are out of my hands. But we thank you for listening at LAGalaxy.com. We'll take a short time out, and the halftime show is coming up next. LA Galaxy Soccer is brought to you by Volkswagen. Visit your local Southern California Volkswagen dealer today. In the course of a single game, LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles, while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year. Powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. Like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Hey, Galaxy fans. Yamaba Theater brings you top-level entertainers all year long. Get your tickets to see legendary opera singer Andrea Bocelli, March 11th. Iconic lead singer of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, May 21st. And country heartthrob Keith Urban, July 13th. Only at Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel, California's number one entertainment destination. Must be 21 to enter. Get tickets at yamabatheater.com. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the LA Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown LA, St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Omega Accounting Solutions is a proud partner of the LA Galaxy. Omega empowers your business with expert guidance on government tax incentives. If your small business survived the pandemic, you could be eligible for a tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The employee retention credit rewards businesses for paying staff during the pandemic. Omega ensures your business receives the maximum credit it deserves. Omega has over 15 years of experience and is a leading expert in the ERC and R&D tax credits. Discover if you you qualify in a free 10-minute ERC consultation. Visit OmegaTaxCredits.com for details. Wingstop is the official wing of the LA Galaxy. Satisfy your cravings with any of Wingstop's 12 mouth-watering flavors like zesty lemon pepper, savory garlic parmesan, or OG hot. Go to Wingstop.com or download the Wingstop app now and pre-order your wings for a game day delivery. Don't forget to try the Wingstop chicken sandwich while you're at it. Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. See wingstop.com for full details, delivery fee, and surcharges apply. Order your flavor today at wingstop.com. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. Halftime here. A chance to tell you about the hero of the match is United States Marine Corps Sergeant Major Combat Logistics Battalion 1. Jacqueline Gibson, 
Sergeant Major Gibson's personal awards include the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, the Iraqi Campaign Medal, and becoming the first female Marine to become HALO qualified. HALO meaning high altitude, low opening. Sergeant Major Gibson, thank you for your service. As we continue here at halftime, it is 1-1 between the LA Galaxy and St. Louis City SC. My apologies for the technical issues, and we hope to have them fixed to start the second half on the Apple side of things. We thank those who are listening at LAGalaxy.com and Sirius XM FC Channel 157. Galaxy opened the scoring inside three minutes of play with a goal scored by Dejan Jovalich, his fourth goal out of the gate in four games. Four games, four goals for Jovalich, and the Galaxy were off and running. But credit St. Louis as they were continuing to pressure the Galaxy, and the Galaxy had more and more difficulty getting out of their own penalty area, and then they succumbed by giving up a goal themselves with a mistake defensively, and actually midfield-wise, and Ricky Pooch gave up a ball in his own half of midfield, and Tomas Ostrak ran it on in and found the back of the net, and that's where we are tied at a goal apiece after 45 minutes of play. The Galaxy, though, are playing their game plan of trying to punish St. Louis in the transition. They've been able to break out on the right side with Joe Painsill and create real scoring chances. They need a little bit more efficiency in and around the penalty area to do so. But right now, that's where they stand, 1-1. St. Louis has to feel a little good about themselves, while the Galaxy know that they can make some adjustments and improve about on their first half performance. More of halftime will come up right after these words. In the course of a single game, LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year, powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. To power up like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown Imports in Chicago, Illinois. LA Galaxy fans, are you ready to take your game experience to the next level? Introducing the new Vivid Seats Elite Seats section in 130 Row D. Your tickets to all on-field Galaxy action, plus exclusive perks. Enjoy prime seats that come with parking and a $20 concession credit with every ticket. Don't miss out. Score your Vivid Seats Elite Seats today exclusively on VividSeats.com and earn rewards on every purchase from the only ticket company that rewards you for buying. Vivid Seats, the official partner of the LA Galaxy. Wingstop is the official flavor of the LA Galaxy. Satisfy your cravings with any of Wingstop's 12 mouth-watering flavors like zesty lemon pepper, savory garlic parmesan, or OG hot. Go to Wingstop.com or download the Wingstop app now and pre-order your wings for a game day delivery. Don't forget to try the Wingstop chicken sandwich while you're at it. 
Wingstop, bring the flavor. See wingstop.com slash offers for full details. Hey, Galaxy fans, when you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. The L.A. Galaxy Halftime is presented by Wingstop, the flavor of the L.A. Galaxy. Order now at wingstop.com. Welcome back. Halftime continuing here. Let's go to the Volkswagen scoreboard. See your Volkswagen dealer today. Hey, Kellen Acosta has maybe the goal of the year. If you have a chance to find it somewhere on social media, Acosta with a big rainbow from about 60 yards at Soldier Field today gave Chicago a 4-3 win against Montreal. Miami defeats D.C. United 3-1. Seattle and Colorado 1-1. Charlotte over Red Bull 3-0, while New York City defeated Toronto 2-1. Philadelphia and Austin tied at 2. Vancouver 3-1 better than Dallas. Houston 1, Portland 0. Sporting Kansas City over San Jose 2-1. The Galaxy at Kansas City next weekend. Minnesota defeated LAFC 2-0 in Minnesota. Nashville 2-1 over Charlotte. Here, the Galaxy get a goal from Dejan Jovalic inside the third, but Tomas Ostrak ties it up in the 27th. 1-1, Galaxy and St. Louis City SC. The second half is coming up next. Stay with us. It's Galaxy season, and nothing says Galaxy like having a whole lot of space. Introducing the Atlas. With a premium feel inside and out and seating for seven, you can have more room for game day possibilities. Volkswagen is a proud sponsor of the LA Galaxy. Visit your Southern California Volkswagen dealer today. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown Imports in Chicago, Illinois. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the L.A. Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown L.A., St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Hey, Galaxy fans. When you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. Wingstop is the official flavor of the L.A. Galaxy. Satisfy your cravings with any of Wingstop's 12 mouth-watering flavors like zesty lemon pepper, savory garlic parmesan, or OG hot. 
Go to Wingstop.com or download the Wingstop app now and pre-order your wings for a game day delivery. Don't forget to try the Wingstop chicken sandwich while you're at it. Wingstop, bring the flavor. See Wingstop.com slash offers for full details. L.A. Galaxy Soccer is presented by Herbal Life. Live your best life. Welcome back to Dignity Health Sports Park. Second half about to get underway. We hope the technicals have been uh, taken care of by those who uh, were given the title of experts to do so. Galaxy will defend the goal to our left and attack from left to right. They'll huddle up right at the center circle as the light show continues here at Dignity Health Sports Park. The boys break the huddle and Ricky Pooch might over his club a little bit on this one. He'll go to midfield to have the kickoff here for the Galaxy. Jovalic, who scored in the first half for the Galaxy. That's the goal for L.A. Ostrock, the goal for St. Louis. And that's where we stand, 1-1, to start the second 45. Waiting for television to get this one underway. No second-half substitutions, at least to start for this Galaxy team at the moment. And now they've been given the go-ahead, and Ricky Pooge will knock it on back to the captain, Maya Yoshida. Yoshida will lift it on the near side. Looking for Jovalic. Knocked away by Nielsen. Again, Nielsen with a second opportunity towards midfield. Caceres will play it back in. Pinzo gets a piece of it and cleared on out by Durkin, who right now has the better battle, has won the battle against Ricky Pooge. McCarthy will collect in his own penalty area. Yoshida had to fix his boot, and we continue. 1-1 One -one inside 46 minutes of play. We thank you for joining us here tonight, wherever you're picking us up. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know some people responded on the socials that they obviously celebrate with a green beer. Julie said Shamrock Shakes out in Wisconsin. All right. Pompeo will bring that one down. It looked like a handball, and the Galaxy thought it was as well, but no. Throwing Galaxy nonetheless as it comes out the near side. Here's Delgado now for L.A. Another handball on the near side that was missed, and the near side AR is having a hard time with this. Want to thank the folks that got this done. We're back up on the Apple app. Thank you for joining us here. Also at LAGalaxy.com and Sirius XM 157. Yoshida for the Galaxy. 1-1 is the score inside 47th minutes on the Volkswagen scoreboard. See your Volkswagen dealer today. Yamane back in the midfield. Painso lets it go for the defender and then makes the run. He's called offside. to take the restart and it's knocked on back well actually it's going to have to go back an extra two yards and he's wondering why and really I can't blame him for that Nielsen now plays in the midfield and into the Galaxy defense it'll come on down to Klaus tries to play it on over to Vasilev it'll be cleared away and collected by Yarrow just at the top of his own defensive third Nielsen. Ostrak, the goal scorer for St. Louis. He'll be able to play it back to his goalkeeper. Collected this time by Roman Berkey. In the midfield, Alde. Nudged from behind, no foul. It'll come on loose. Julian will run onto it. Has it far side. Able to play it back to Caceres. Into Cerillo, pressured quickly. Was he brought down? He was. That's a foul and a free kick on Durkin. This is incredible by the referee. Slowing down every play. Okay. He lets Durkin know, don't do it again. And we're going to do it one more time. Wow. <laughs> It'll come on over to Pooch now. And he'll play it onto the near side. Paintsville. Not a good ball there by Joe, but 
It's won by Delgado. Again, Pooch into center, and that's off the mark. And here comes Klaus back the other way for St. Louis. Top of the center circle into the offensive end. He's got Todd running with him. Plays it over to Jackson, who plays it into the area. This is dangerous for Klaus. Fires to the near post, and it's wide and out of play. Goal kick for the Galaxy, we believe. It's a goal kick. Klaus is yelling for a corner. But the far side, AR said, nope. Goal kick. Klaus looking at his shot on goal, and I would have said <laughs> that should have been a corner also. But I'm all the way up here. What did I see? Maya Yoshida for the Galaxy. Kasaris. Again, Yoshida. Near side it comes. Yamane able to play this one long, trying to find Painsil. Over his shoulder to come to the near side. Watch there by one defender in Nielsen. Painsil along the end line puts on the brakes. Left foot across into the top of the box and cleared away. This will be a foot race for Jackson and Yamane. And the Galaxy want to foul the other way on Jackson. Free kick, yellow card to Jackson for kicking the ball away. Thank you again for listening here tonight. If we want to do a roll call once again, where are you listening from? How are you celebrating this evening? Pooch, Cerillo. It'll come back the other way. Klaus. And another bad ball out of the back for the Galaxy. Vasilev broken up by Pooch. And it comes this time to Delgado. Able to play into space. This is good for Painsil running in on goal. Better opportunity here for Joe's goal! <laughs> Joseph Painsil from Mark Delgado. 2-1 LA Galaxy. Painsil, his second goal on the season. His second goal in Galaxy gear. Dignity Health Sports Park in full voice tonight, celebrating that goal as the Galaxy regain the lead once again, two to one, as we enter the 53rd minute of play. Painzel, his first goal at the dig. And we continue. Nielsen for St. Louis. Ostrak. Left side of the circle, he'll go past the stripe. Cerillo defending on him as he comes in towards center. They try to play it out the right side. Totlin runs onto it, the cross into the area, knocked away by Caceres. Pooch is upended by Yarrow. That's a foul. And a free kick for the Galaxy. I told you in the first half that this is going to get more physical, and it certainly is, has been already. Thank you to Hector, who's listening on a freight, Freightliner truck in New Mexico. Breakfast for dinner is always good. McCarthy has it in his penalty area. Closed by Klaus. Ahead it comes to Cerillo. Caceres this time around. Ball goes left. Pooch plays ahead for Fagundes. Back to Pooch, this time to Aude. Shakes Jackson. Caceres. On the near side it goes to Yamane. 
forward to Mark Delgado. Paint still on the near side. Touch back in for Surio. St. Louis does a good job of marking up and pressuring. Long ball ahead for Payne so he is on the side. Side of the six along the end line. In front to Yovelich. The shot is saved by Berkey as he swipes at it and bats it away with that left arm. Caceres is going to collect this ball as it's cleared to midfield and played all the way back to McCarthy. And Martin a bit disappointed in all day and lets him know about it. Great save by Joe by uh, Roman Berkey. Otherwise, this game could have been put to bed for the Galaxy, leading two to one and going up to three to one. Galaxy clear a ball over the near side and out of play. Greg Vanny wants his club to tighten up a little bit, a little too spread out at the moment. And the throw will come back defensively for St. Louis. Yarrow, Nielsen. He's got Markanic near side and finds him and all the way back to Berkey. And Pooch is going to spread, going to pressure him, but Berkey plays it out into space. Yarrow will run on to that. And on to the far side it goes to Totlin in the midfield. Taken off the ball by Al Day for the moment, but Klaus gets, gets it on back and out to the right side. Vasilev working on Al Day. Gets the cross into the area, goes through the box, and out the left side it comes. Pompeo runs on to this one. Watch there by Yamane. Again, Klaus tries to play through Delgado and does. Still on his left foot, chips it towards the six and cleared on out. Markanich getting it on back. Left side it comes. Pompeo. Jackson, left side of the Galaxy penalty area. Again, Pompeo. Jackson one more time. Lifts into the box. This is good, but it bounces right into McCarthy. Nice job by John McCarthy staying on his line there. Rolls ahead for Pooj. Squares it on over to Delgado. Ricky takes a shot. Delgado's dragged to the ground. That's a foul. Free kick. That's an easy foul to call, but the St. Louis players are arguing with the referee. Quickly the restart again to Painzel on the right side. Walking into the area. Painzel plays it through. Yovelich can't find it. Thought he was brought down from behind by Yarrow. The referee says play on. Mark Geiger's our VAR. I'm sure he'll take a look at it. Surreal. I thought Joe was going to go to goal there. He had the whole backside of the goal wide open. Got to be killers. Have to be killers sometimes. Here's Yamane. It'll come into center. Surreal. Bad first touch. So be a foul against the Galaxy. No play on as St. Louis remains on possession. Pompeo in the left channel. Let's it go for Ostrak. Thinking about the shot. Plays it across the far side. Intended for Totlin. Another job on the part of Alde. That time around. Ahead it comes to Fagundes. Back into midfield and past the stripe. He's got Pooch at center. Here comes Ricky now. This is right down the middle of the park. In for Yovelich. Left foot at ball. Saved by Berkey. He's had four big ones so far in this match. As it goes left side, Al Day. Kick save and a beauty. Pooch from distance, and he just pokes it past Jovalich. And he wants him to run on through. He wanted him to keep on going, although there was too much on that ball, I think. And it'll be a goal kick. Galaxy fans, 2024 season ticket membership is available now at lagalaxy.com forward slash season tickets. Or call 8773 Galaxy for more information on membership benefits and to secure yours today. Again, Berkey for St. Louis. It looks like the visitor's about to bring on two. A dinner run. And Deer. Here's Pompeu. Up the left side now. Working on Painsill. Top of the box it comes. Pompeo again on possession. His pass into Jackson. Trying to walk it into goal. Galaxy able to clear. Durkin thinking about his shot. Left foot a ball blocked. It goes out the far side. Totlin is there. Back to Klaus. Totlin one more time. He's onside. Klaus fires. Stars. No, it's saved. 
and pushed wide of the far post. And the Galaxy get very fortunate that time around. Substitution for St. Louis, and the Galaxy playing with fire in their own penalty area there. They dodge a bullet. coming on a dinner on is on as well St. Louis will crowd the six yard box and they're crowding goalkeeper John McCarthy and that should be an easy call for the referee for interfering with the keeper inside his box here's Jackson with the cross trying to go backside a dinner on plays it on through they score on the overhead kick and McCarthy comes out to the referee and says hey you're interfering with a keeper. It'll be looked at as every goal is. But now St. Louis has tied it up here in the 60th minute on the overhead kick. As we look at the replay. Touched by Nielsen, who's the goal scorer. John McCarthy was he was bumped. going to be hard we'll see what we'll see what Geiger says and we look at the, the pick there and certainly that was a pick by Nielsen goal is being checked at the moment comes to midfield the galaxy about to make substitutions now Fagundes is done Gabriel Peck returning he was just the mister the first time around now he's a mister and a missus as he was married last week congratulations to him and his new spouse and we are 2 2 here in the 62nd minute a dinner on able to get past Yoshida plays it into the area McCarthy comes off his line and smothers it Delgado for the Galaxy gets away from one defender able to play it ahead to Jovalic tried to wheel it around for Peck cleared away Galaxy keep it alive though Delgado once again left side for Payne still runs it along the end line keep it in play yes he did back out it goes Delgado in the center for Pooch Cerillo good touch there over to Caceres out day it's away from one defender. Alde still on possession. Let's it go for Pooch. And again, miscommunication there. You have to be more simple. You just have to be more simple. Yamane. Yoshida. Out the left side, Caceres. He's got Alde. Plays onto the wing. Peck. Gets away from his defender at the moment. Gets the cross into the box. This will be cleared on out. Second ball, Pooch, 23 from goal. Trying to find that right foot. Plays it in for Jovalich. Good job defensively by Nielsen. Able to play it out and finds Vasile. Out the left side it goes, Pompeo. A dinner run this time for St. Louis. Side of the Galaxy penalty area, Yamane. Defending on the play. Jackson plays at top of the box. Pompeo back to Jackson. It did on the left corner. Has a shot towards 
of the goal that's deflected to the far side of the box and cleared away. Caceres wiped out by Durkin, but I think that was a clean play. It's going to be a throw in for the Galaxy. Player down for St. Louis. In the collision with Caceres. Hey, the 2024 Galaxy Angelino kit is here, including the new home jersey inspired by our fans in the city of L.A. Available now at the L.A. Galaxy team store. 2-2. Inside 65 minutes of play. Pooch gets the yellow card. For descent to the referee. In the meantime, Maya Yoshida is talking to the referee. About the goal that St. Louis scored, where the Galaxy still believe that John McCarthy was obstructed with on the pick play by Nielsen, who ended up getting the goal. And I think maybe Ricky had something to say about it as well. Drop ball, Galaxy have it. It'll come on forward, and we continue. Pooch. Head to Delgado, out the left side all day. Plays it on the wing, Peck to run it down. Watch there by Yarrow as well in the far corner. Needs some help now. Alday getting into the attack, has it at the moment. Back out, it goes for Peck. He'll knock it back towards midfield. Caceres wheels it around. Yamane. Delgado in towards center. Yamane bounces away from his defender in Jackson. Still has possession. Pooch one more time. Right side of the box. Into the box. Tried to find Payne Sill and gave it away. Clear towards the near side and out. Miguel Perry gets off his bench. And so does Gaston Brugman. Yoshida on possession here. Delgado, Cerillo, he'll get it on back on the wall ball. Ahead it goes this time to Jovlich on the left right side. It comes to Painsill. Tries to turn away from his defender, wants the foul. The referee says no. The flag stays down on the near side also. Yamane trying to hold up Pompeu, who plays it into midfield for Klaus. Back out it goes. Jackson out to the right side for Vasilev. Peck back defensing on the play. for Klaus. It'll bounce on through a dinner on. How many hands do we have? Two? Apparently not. It'll come out to Pooch. Able to play this one on forward. Delgado into Jovalic. On the near side it comes to Payne. So Galaxy getting numbers forward. Trying to play it on over to Peck. It's deflected. Defender jumping over the top of Jovalic to get to it. In Nielsen, out comes Jackson with possession. Vasilev for St. Louis, defensively Totland into midfield. Klaus, who's gone the, the distance to this moment for St. Louis. Came on as a sub last match. He'll get the foul as well and a free kick. Galaxy with the substitutions coming up here. So Rio is done. Brugman will replace him. And 
Leon Jovalich, who scored his fourth goal in four games so far this season. He'll leave the match. Miguel Berry will come on for the Galaxy now. Great start for Jovalich. He also had a header go off the crossbar. Free kick. Totlin will take it. Lifts top of the Galaxy penalty area. McCarthy calls off Yoshida. Here's Maya. Has it now for the Galaxy at center. Out the right side it comes. Delgado plays it ahead this time for Payne. Still pushed off the ball again by Nielsen. That's a foul. And Greg Vanny again erupts at the Galaxy bench. And here comes the yellow card to Nielsen. Who may have deserved it for interfering with a goalkeeper, but would have been harsh there for sure. St. Louis brings on two more. Rasmus Alm coming on. And Hosel Kajima. Jackson is done. Vasilev is done. Both those players, I think, played well for St. Louis tonight. Vasilev may have run out of gas, but Jackson still had some in his tank, I thought. 20 minutes to go here. So Alm will come on on the right side. Probably have more of a defensive posture on that right side. Adinaran will head further upfield, and Klaus will play underneath them, from what I gather. So free kick for the Galaxy. Pooch. Back to Yoshida. Caceres. He'll knock it to the far side. Alde. Able to get away from his defender. He's got Peck ahead of him. Alde has two defenders on him now. He'll cut on back. Brugman. Gaston. Wheels it around. Yamani. Ahead it goes to Painsil. Delgado in towards center. Pooj. Heavy ball. I believe it was for Painsil and deflected off of Yamane and cleared away. Brugman again for the Galaxy. Good ball ahead to Peck. Fires away with the right foot that's blocked. Comes out into center. Brugman one more time. 25 from goal. Lays it off for Pooj into Painsil. One more. Still has possession on his left foot. Back out to Brugman. Delgado on the right. All the way back towards midfield. Yoshida this time around. Caceres. Maya. Brugman does well into space. Pooj right into Nielsen. No foul. Yes, it is. Free kick. Free kick for the Galaxy. has to be careful he's on a yellow referee says on my whistle all right the line is set at the top of the penalty area Pooch will be on the left side of the arc it'll be Brugman to take the free kick Peck is just outside the box. Backside is Miguel Berry. Here's the go. Into the area comes. Caceres shot. Save by Berkey. And Martin got on the end of it, and Berkey came up with another big save for St. Louis. Still 2 2 here. Come in from Barry and cleared away. And Ramon Berkey still playing at the level he was playing last year when he was the goalkeeper of the year. 
in Major League Soccer. Here comes Brugman for the Galaxy. Ahead it goes to Barry. Brugman again to the right side. Delgado will run this one down. He's got Painsill in the area, finds him. Joseph gets away from one defender. Brugman running onto this one, wants the foul. The referee says, no, we continue. I don't think it was a foul. Fans erupted, but I believe that was clean. Throw in for St. Louis. Nielsen with the throw in for Klaus. It'll skip away from him. Comes out the right side. Totland. Right side of the circle, able to play it forward. Durkin, right into Delgado, and the Galaxy clear for the other way. Again on the right side, here comes Joseph Paintsill. Right side, watched by one defender, cuts into the penalty area, the slide tackle out of play. Corner kick, Galaxy, good job by Dyer. Recovering well for St. Louis on the slide. For corner kick, Galaxy, and Gabriel Peck walks on over. He'll join Joseph Painsill for this corner kick. Set play opportunity for the Galaxy. And Gabriel Peck will take it. Everybody lines up towards the back side of the six. Here's Peck. Lifts it into the area. It comes on through and cleared out. Kosaris almost got a piece of it. And maybe Berkey might have got a hand on it to deflect it just a bit. As he swatted that glove out there. Another corner kick for the Galaxy. His players are tumbling everywhere. Brugman this time from the far side. Right footed ball. It's going to bend in towards goal. He plays it short. Cleared away by Alm. Delgado. Brugman all day. Side of the six. Corner kick Galaxy as Klaus defends on the play. 2-2 Two -two on the Volkswagen scoreboard. See your Volkswagen dealer today. This time Painsill will take the corner kick from the far side. And the, the riot squad on their feet cheering him on and Joe wants a little more noise. Painsill plays it into the six knocked away by Klaus second ball be collected by Delgado towards midfield Brugman this time around pokes at it to the far side and Painsill has it again watched by one defender all day. Painsill watched by Klaus. Back out it goes to Pooch into Painsill one more time. Heels it ahead. Here comes Peck into the area as he was able to chip it over his defender, but then it's cleared out over the far side touch. Throw in here for the Galaxy. Looking a bit dangerous over a good sequence here, the Galaxy. Pooch once again dispossessed. Need to be cleaner, need to be tougher. As St. Louis will go back the other way. Pompeo. Watch there by Brugman. Pompeo taking off the ball. Brugman. Yamane and ahead it comes to Pooj and again he loses possession. Pompeu trying to play into the area cleared on out. Ball will go left side. Kojima he plays into the box. McCarthy calls everybody off and pulls it down. He was thinking about the quick outlet but nobody making the run. Delgado Brugman switches over to Caceres who's been unlucky on a couple of opportunities on goal. Martin. Plays it back to Alde. Brugman. Defensive side of the circle. Delgado near side. Yamane. Yoshida. And they'll be patient right now, the Galaxy. Yamane. It'll come out the near side, Delgado. Ahead to Painsu. Two defenders around him. Goes down. That'll be a foul. No? 
Apparently not. And the dinner on trying to get up the near side. The Galaxy should get the throw in back the other way here. Again, not the throw in. As it went off a of dinner on and out, St. Louis will come out with a throw in. The Galaxy can't believe what's going on with the near side AR. Pompeo will get the throw in for St. Louis. Nielsen. Ahead it goes to Durkin. Dyer on the near side. Ahead it comes this time to Pompeo into the area dinner on. Watch out for him. Plays it to across. Intended for Alm. Too much on that one. Also the flag was up. And offside is called. Possession to the Galaxy. Ten minutes plus stoppage in a 2-2 draw here at Dignity Health Sports Park. It looks like St. Louis about to make a substitution. We continue. Alde able to get through one defender. He needs to get this ball off his foot, but he's got no help at the moment. Showing for this is Brugman. He has it now. Into center for Delgado. Right side will come Yamani. Pushes forward, Paintsill. Tried to find Barry. It comes back out to Paintsill. Yamane into the area for Peck. Cleared away. This will be a foul called against the Galaxy. And the substitution now as Klaus will leave the match. Hebert will come on. Klaus will leave the match. He's, diff he's difficult to deal with, Jao Klaus. And he's a difference, difference maker for St. Louis. Roman Berkey to take this restart. Plays it long into the Galaxy defense. Knocked away by Yoshida. Brookman pokes at it. It gets beyond Pooj. Wrong side of Ricky, unfortunately. Left side it comes. Good job on the part of Payne still getting back. Yamane's clearance into the St. Louis bench. And a throw in. Long throw comes in, cleared away by Yoshida. Painsill again, brought down by Dyer. That's a foul, free kick for the Galaxy. Comes on over to Martin Caceres. Plays in the midfield, Peck was dragged down. The referee says, play on. Another bad pass here as Pooj was taken down. Back the other way, and here comes a dinner on, taking off the field, uh, the ball, that is. In the midfield it comes. Again, players all over the floor here. Delgado picks up the loose ball. That's a foul against the Galaxy now. And the fans responding here at Dignity Health Sports Park. Nielsen lifts this one long. A Dineron gets on the end of it. This is a foul on a Dineron who wipes out Yamane. Galaxy want a yellow card on a Dineron for not clearing the 10 yards, and he gets a yellow card over it. The St. Louis bench erupts over that. Casares. Back over to Brugman, near side. Yamane 
lifts this one long, trying to find Barry. This is too long. Berkey off his line and clears it away. It didn't run on the first ball. Again, that hit him in the hand. The referee didn't see it. Apparently not. Brugman now for the Galaxy. Delgado back to Brugman. All day. Pooch in some trouble here. Gets it off to Brugman. Same. Oh boy. Referee gets in the way of the pass. It'll be possession back to the Galaxy. Here's Pooch. Right side. Yamane. Delgado into center. Again, Brugman. Kosaris. Delgado. Pooch again inside the circle. Wheeled around the right side, Yamani. Delgado makes the inside out run. Ball ahead intended for Peck. Squirts on through one defender in Kachima, but it's cleared away. And Dyer able to lift in the midfield. Can the Galaxy find the game winner? We got five minutes in time to go. 2 2 on the Volkswagen scoreboard. Brugman. All day in the channel. Painsill on the left. Into, again, Alde tries to play it across, block Delgado to keep it alive. It comes out near side. Yamane will collect it. Gets away from one defender, and Pompeo plays into the box one more time. Barry chests it over. The shot towards goal on the half volley. Off a, deflet, a defender and out of play. Corner kick, Galaxy, Alde. Has his hands on his head there with the clean look that he had, and the defender got in front. Tutland got the number 14 on it as he turned his body from the shot. Peck with the corner near side. Here's the cross into the area, goes towards the goal and right on to Berkey. That's easy. We, in the meantime, we have a player down inside the six with a collision. Dyer is that player and helped to his feet, seems to be okay. That's good for everybody. Hey, secure those season ticket memberships now. T season ticket members receive 20% discount at the team store, 15% off concessions, exclusive member events, and much more. Call 8773-GALAXY or visit lagalaxy.com forward slash season tickets today. Berkey for St. Louis. Lifts it long on the punt into the Galaxy half of midfield. Knocked down by Brugman. Back it goes to Caceres. He'll play it back to his goalkeeper, McCarthy. Lifts into midfield. So come out near side. Dyer. Long ball ahead into midfield. Nice job by the Galaxy getting it back. Brugman dispossessed by Durkin. And here comes Pompeo. He's holding on to his knee. Brugman is. Yamane with the clearance out. And Brugman. Still holding that left knee. Corner kick coming up for St. Louis. Brugman back up. And able to walk it off. All right. Late moments of this one. Inside 88 minutes. Corner kick for St. Louis. A dinner on at the top of the six. And again, they will crowd the goalkeeper. Here comes the corner kick, played on in. McCarthy is deflected and into the net, and the referee at this point has what? Called the goal. St. Louis has taken a 3-2 lead. Greg Vanny can't believe it. John McCarthy can't believe it. Mark Geiger. It's up to you now. That is, will be reviewed as all goal, goals are. 
Jones. You look at McCarthy once again trying to get to this one inside the six yard box. Maya Yoshida right now talking to the referee. Everybody has seen the replay of the goal is up in arms. We think it's being looked at. But right now the referee's pointing towards midfield to play the game. VAR check is complete. The goal counts. St. Louis leads three to two. Kyle Hebert gets the goal. And the Galaxy have conceded two off corner kicks and now find themselves down three to two at the death of this match all day. Back it comes to Pooch. Squares on over to Brugman. Caceres. Ahead to Pooch, near side Delgado. Yoshida this time around. Delgado will knock it back to McCarthy. Caceres. Brugman. Eight minutes of stoppage time. Barry into Payne Sill. He'll play it into space. Peck to run onto this one, trying to get the goal. Fire saved by Berkey, still in play, and Berkey will smother it. And Roman Berkey has been big for St. Louis in this match. Good work by Gabriel Peck getting to this ball and still getting the shot on goal. But Berkey was in the right place, right time, made the save. Possession to the Galaxy here, handball. One of the few that they've seen tonight. Brookman. Over to Pooch. All day on the left. Pooch will wheel it around the right side. Yamane. Knocks it down. Delgado will collect. Again on to the left, looking for Alde. And a bit too far for the youngster and out of play over the far side touch. It's going to be a throw in for St. Louis. Yoshida will collect now for the Galaxy. A lot of tired legs here for L.A. As McCarthy sends it long to the far side and out of play. I feel this was an important home match for the Galaxy. One to really take a step forward to push 2023 behind them. And for St. Louis, the same way in terms of 2024, getting off on the front foot, beating the Galaxy on the road, and getting the victory, things like that would be important for them. Here's John McCarthy now for the Galaxy. As the Galaxy now search for an equalizer. Totland with a clearance. A dinner on. Came back from an offside position, but the far side AR didn't see it that way. Yoshida will collect now. Delgado ahead to Brugman. Looks like Gaston is okay after taking that knock. Caceres. Here comes Pooch. Out to the right side it goes. Yamane getting forward. He'll be able to collect it. Now lifts it into the top of the box looking for Perry who chests it down and cleared away. Alde. Brookman, Caceres, Julian on the far side now. Just under six minutes to go here, looking for that equalizer. Pooch 
Brugman. You have to get into the penalty area to get close enough. Pooch. Yoshida. Again, Delgado. Maya. In towards center. Again, Casas. Pooch one more time. Good ball for Brugman. Trying to find Barry. Cleared away. It'll go far side. Pinsa will keep it in play for the Galaxy. He'll run it into the channel. Pinsa still with the drag down. That's a foul and a free kick for the Galaxy just outside the box. And Joe understands what you have to do. Run after the defender. Inside 95 minutes here. Free kick for the Galaxy outside the left corner of the penalty area. Gaston Brugman's going to take it. Gabriel Peck hovers at the top of the 18. Here's Brugman, plays it on in near side. The header score! Maya Yoshida! Kick on the part of Gaston Brugman, a dipping ball to the near side, and Yoshida with the snapping header past Berkey, no chance. And we continue. Three minutes to go here in this one. This is played into the Galaxy defense, though. A dinner on, looking to wind up and does. And right into the Victoria block it goes. Goal kick for the LA Galaxy here. Heavy legs for the Galaxy. Heavy legs here for the Galaxy. Yoshida goes down to the ground, looks over to the bench area. Alde, slow to get up. St. Louis player getting up here slowly. Alm, I believe, in a collision with Alde. And we continue. John McCarthy with the goal kick here. Two minutes to go. Comes ahead to Caceres. Pooch this time around. Brugman back to Pooch. Trying to find the handle, brought down, and a free kick. Brugman over to Yoshida, and we continue here. Delgado chipping it ahead, Barry, side of the area, heels it towards the top of the box, trying to find Pack cleared out by St. Louis into the Galaxy bench, throw in. Brugman, Delgado, Yamane and cleared out by Dyer. Dinneron whiffs on the header. The Galaxy win it back. Caceres. Alde. Chips it into Brugman too far for him. Pompeu is going the distance. It should be a throw in for the Galaxy, and it is. Quickly into Peck. He's brought down by Dyer with a hip check on the near side. That's a foul and a free kick for the Galaxy. Pooch, he'll take it forward now. Delgado once again. Yamani on the right side. Left foot across into the area, knocked away. Comes out to Pompeu, heads it into the Galaxy bench. Yamani, he'll take the throw. Trying to find Painsill, headed away. Second ball, Brugman. Pooch, back to Gaston. Gets away from his defender. Brugman, left side all day. Left side of center, that is. Right into Pooj, goes forward. Still taking it towards goal, gets the pass into Payne Sill. It comes on to Brugman on the left side of the area. Watch there by Totland. Back out it goes to Payne Sill. All day. Left foot across, it'll bounce on through. Second ball, won by Yamane. Can he keep it alive for the Galaxy? He does. Caceres. We are unofficially at time here. Pooj tried to dodge the referee at the same time. Pokes it into the area, might have a second chance cleared. 
towards midfield. The dinner on now closing and turning. He'll take it into the Galaxy defense as he beats Yoshida. Caceres defending. This will be a foul against the Galaxy, and it might be a yellow card to Caceres, and he's going to get a red. That'll be a second, I believe, and a red card to Martin Caceres. And a free kick for St. Louis right at the end of the match, and that's all he could do there. He had to save him from the breakaway, and now Durkin has words with Caceres. And Caceres will get a standing ovation as he leaves the match and goes to the locker room. Zavaleta is going to come on for the Galaxy here if they can get this. Substitution and it looks like they will. Painsill will be the man that leaves the match. Good work from Joe. No, he'll stay on. They're going to pull Pooch out of the match. is on yellow card so I understand why you'd pull him at this point that makes sense so you get him out so Zavaleta comes on and he'll likely start next week when the Galaxy play at Kansas City this should be I would think the final opportunity of this match. The one man wall will be Joe Painso along with Gabriel Peck. Restart here. Pompeo to take it. If he takes it, the right foot of ball will go to goal. And he plays it on into the six. On to McCarthy, he picks up. McCarthy looking for the big punt in the midfield, looking for Gabriel Peck. Yarrow is there defensively. He'll have to play to the far side. Comes out to Totlin. He'll play into the Galaxy defense. Alde will collect, and we're continuing on. Now the referee puts his hands in the air and then points to midfield. And this incredible match comes to an end in a 3-3 draw at Dignity Health Sports Park. It was a circus tonight. But a hard fought match by both of the clubs. And the Galaxy might come away with this one, from away with this one, thinking they should have won. On the opposite side, though, Roman Berkey is probably the MVP of this match but he, because he came up with at least four great saves to keep St. Louis within striking distance. And St. Louis scored two unanswered goals from corner kicks that could have been called fouls, but they were not. They could have been called fouls, but they were not. And the Galaxy still battled back to earn the point at home. 3-3 is the final, and the postgame show is coming up next. L.A. Galaxy Soccer is presented by Herbal Life. Live your best life. In the course of a single game... LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year. Powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. To power up like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today.
Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Hey, Galaxy fans, when you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the L.A. Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown L.A., St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Hey, Galaxy fans. Yamaba Theater brings you top-level entertainers all year long. Get your tickets to see legendary opera singer Andrea Bocelli, March 11th. Iconic lead singer of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, May 21st. And country heartthrob Keith Urban, July 13th. Only at Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel, California's number one entertainment destination. Must be 21 to enter. Get tickets at yamabatheater.com. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown Imports in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to the L.A. Galaxy Post Game Show, presented by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Welcome back to Dignity Health Sports Park. A 3-3 draw between the Galaxy and St. Louis. And so far in this young history between these Western Conference rivals, neither has registered a victory. Although St. Louis probably feels like they came close this time around, where the Galaxy, a few bad breaks, Maybe some calls they thought should go their way. They couldn't find the back of the net. And really, that's the reason. Well, well, Roman Berkey is the reason why the Galaxy couldn't find the back of the net. He gave up three, but he still had six saves on the night. He was great for St. Louis. And the Galaxy, a bit hard done by the great play of that goalkeeper. John McCarthy made two saves on the goal scored by St. Louis on the corner kicks. I know the Galaxy will will argue that it was obstructing the goalkeeper or interfering with the goalkeeper. But I would like to see the goalkeeper have a little more action of trying to get to the ball to give the referee a chance to call that. If there's bouncing around or the fact that the player is already there on the second goal scored in that uh, corner kick uh, two goal situation, the goal that was the third goal for St. Louis, you have, you have to try to get to the ball. The player was already in that position. The first one, I don't know. Nonetheless, though, it's a 3-3 draw. And the Galaxy with back-to-back -back draws, they have six points now on the season. So does St. Louis. But in the last two games, both of these teams will be concerning now for both of these teams. In the last two games, these teams have given up five goals apiece. And so that's something I think coaches will think about also. Uh, as they prepare for their next games. Uh, Maya Yoshida saves the day on the header, on the assist from Gaston Brugman on the free kick. Joseph Painsill scores his first home goal, his second goal for the Galaxy. Dejan Jovalich 
Four goals in four games. A lot of good things from this game. A lot of good things from this game. But the victory. And if you're a St. Louis fan, you say a lot of good things came from this game. But the victory. And thank goodness you have Roman Berkey or else it could have been really bad. 3-3 is the final. We'll look at some of the stats. We'll look at the scoreboard. And we'll get you ready for what is next. Stay with us. In the course of a single game, LA Galaxy players will spend 90 minutes fighting for the ball, going on goal, sprinting, sliding, jogging backwards, running almost seven miles, while maintaining an average heart rate of 160 beats per minute. And they'll perform at this world-class level 31 times a year, powered by Herbalife Nutrition, the official nutrition company of the LA Galaxy. To power up like a pro, contact your Herbalife independent distributor or visit Herbalife.com today. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Hey, Galaxy fans, when you're faced with moments that make you feel anxious or overwhelmed, or if you need emotional support, reach out to the L.A. County Department of Mental Health. They have one goal in mind, to help you. They offer free service referrals and crisis counseling. Call the 24-7 helpline at 1-800-854-7771. That's 1-800-854-7771. Or visit their website at dmh.lacounty.gov. Take action for yourself, your circle, and your community. Call the L.A. County Department of Mental Health at 1-800-854-7771 for support and resources. Dignity Health is the official health care partner of the L.A. Galaxy, including Glendale Memorial, St. Mary in Long Beach, Northridge Hospital, California Hospital in downtown L.A., St. Bernardine and Community Hospital of San Bernardino. Across Dignity Health hospitals and care sites, the well-being of patients is always the priority. To learn about emergency services, health care, and healthy joints, you can visit DignityHealth.org slash SoCal. Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Galaxy fans, you know the name Galaxy was selected as a nod to the stars of Hollywood? And at Volkswagen, we have a lot of stars, too. Like the Atlas, with a premium feel on the inside and out, plus seating for seven, it has almost enough room for the whole lineup. Volkswagen is a proud sponsor of the LA Galaxy. Visit your Southern California Volkswagen dealer today. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage in their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown Imports in Chicago, Illinois. We continue from Dignity Health Sports Park. 3-3 is the final between the Galaxy and St. Louis. Time now for the save of the match presented by Spectrum Mobile. And I believe the save of the match came with Roman Berkey with a flash save on a cross that came in from Joe Painsill, a knifing run to the near post by Dejan Jovalich. Jovalich hitting that ball to his high left shoulder. And Berkey really not seeing it. But he got that left arm up and batted the ball away and kept the Galaxy from going up 3-1. to one. And that would have really given the Galaxy a lot of steam going forward. But in fact, he kept his team in the game. And then the Galaxy had to come back to get the draw, obviously. The man of the match presented by Herbalife Nutrition. Live your best life. Maya Yoshida, the tying goal. Uh, you know, had a pretty good game, considering the fact they gave up three goals. Two, though, in uh, in terms of uh, from corner kicks, and then one off a mistake from Ricky Pooch that led to the first goal for St. Louis. Maya Yoshida gets into the offense on a set play from Gaston Brugman, and the header finds the back of the net in a 3-3 draw. Some of the numbers in this match, passing breakdown. 
87% for the Galaxy, 79.4 for St. Louis. Open play pass, 86.8%, 80.1 for St. Louis. These numbers are very similar for the Galaxy in 2024 as they were in 2023. And that's something the Galaxy should be proud of. But the Galaxy need to do a little bit better job now of keeping guys out of the back of the net. And also, when they get the opportunity in the first half to put their stamp on a game, they need to take advantage of it. The Galaxy scored inside three minutes here in this match today. Great start. But they had other opportunities in the first 25, 30 minutes to really make it difficult on the opponent. And they left them off the hook. And they found themselves in a long fight over 90 minutes. 17 and 17 shots, nine for the Galaxy on goal, four for St. Louis. All right, three of them in the back of the net. Block shots, five and five, total passes, 629 to 316. 629 for the Galaxy, 316 for St. Louis. Five corners to two for the Galaxy. Total crosses, the Galaxy had six, St. Louis had nine. And that's something the Galaxy need to work on to close off those crosses. Expected goals, the Galaxy were at 3.3, 2.3 for St. Louis tonight. The game ended in a 3-3 draw. Final look at the Volkswagen scoreboard. See your Volkswagen dealer today. Chicago defeated Montreal 4-3. Miami 3-1 better than DC United at their place. Seattle 1-1 with Colorado. Columbus 3, Red Bull nothing. New York City 2-1 over Toronto. Austin 2-2 with Philadelphia. It was Vancouver over Dallas, 3-1. Houston, one nothing better than Portland. Sporting Kansas City, 2-1 over San Jose. Next weekend, the Galaxy at Sporting Kansas City, and we'll have that broadcast for you as well. Minnesota, shout out LAFC, 2-0. It was Nashville, 2-1 over Charlotte. And here tonight at Dignity Health Sports Park, Maya Yoshida scores, Joseph Painsill scores, Dejan Jovalic scores again. But the Galaxy draw with St. Louis, 3-3. Joe Totino saying so long for the dig. Happy St. Patrick's weekend, everybody. I hope you're having a great time. But most of all, be safe. Good night. You may have heard of pneumococcal pneumonia. Although it can be hard to pronounce, it's simple to ask a doctor or pharmacist about vaccination. Pneumococcal pneumonia is a potentially serious bacterial lung disease that, in severe cases, can put you in the hospital and even be life-threatening. If you're an adult 19 or older with certain chronic health conditions, such as asthma, diabetes, COPD, or chronic heart disease, among others, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. People who are 65 or older are also at increased risk, even if they're healthy. That's because the immune system weakens as we age, making it harder to fight infections. In fact, if you are 65 or older, you are over 10 times more likely to be hospitalized with pneumococcal pneumonia than adults 18 to 49. Pneumococcal pneumonia can strike at any time of year. So ask a doctor or pharmacist about vaccination today. Learn more about your risk for pneumococcal pneumonia at knownemonia.com. That's K-N-O-W pneumonia.com. This message is courtesy of Pfizer. Wingstop is the official wing of the L.A. Galaxy. Satisfy your cravings with any of Wingstop's 12 mouth-watering flavors like zesty lemon pepper, savory garlic parmesan, or OG hot. Go to wingstop.com or download the Wingstop app now and pre-order your wings for a game day delivery. Don't forget to try the Wingstop chicken sandwich while you're at it. Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. See wingstop.com for full details, delivery fee, and surcharges apply. Order your flavor today at wingstop.com. LA Galaxy fans, are you ready to take your game experience to the next level? Introducing the new Vivid Seats Elite Seats section in 130 Row D. Your tickets to all on-field Galaxy action, plus exclusive perks. Enjoy prime seats that come with parking and a $20 concession credit with every ticket. Don't miss out. Score your Vivid Seats Elite Seats today exclusively on VividSeats.com and earn rewards on every purchase from the only ticket company that rewards you for buying. Vivid Seats. 
the official partner of the LA Galaxy. Omega Accounting Solutions is a proud partner of the LA Galaxy. Omega empowers your business with expert guidance on government tax incentives. If your small business survived the pandemic, you could be eligible for a tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. The employee retention credit rewards businesses for paying staff during the pandemic. Omega ensures your business receives the maximum credit it deserves. Omega has over 15 years of experience and is a leading expert in the ERC and R&D tax credits. Discover if you qualify in a free 10-minute ERC consultation. Visit OmegaTaxCredits.com for details. In 1925, Modelo began brewing beer for those who believe in better. A model beer steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch 94 years ago, to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from, it matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Imported by Crown and Courts in Chicago, Illinois. This LA Galaxy match has been presented by Herbalife. Live your best life. By Wingstop, the flavor of the LA Galaxy. Order now at wingstop.com. By Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. By Dignity Health, official health care provider of the LA Galaxy. By Spectrum Mobile, the fastest growing mobile provider in the nation. This has been a presentation of the LA Galaxy, the five-time champions of Major League Soccer.